Peeps, it's Vinny here. And hey, how is everyone doing today? Come here, come here, come a little closer. Come here, I can't see your face. Whoa, whoa, that's a little too close. Did you brush your teeth? Whew. Well, I brought all these peeps here to share with you, but since we're still doing this me here and you there kind of thing, I guess I'll have to just add eating peeps to my homeschool assignments. I'll save these for later. All right, so friends, it's April and this month is going to be epic because we are going to talk about the most amazing thing that has ever happened in the history of ever. I mean, honestly, I can't remember everything I was supposed to learn in history, but I do know that this is a big deal. We are talking about Easter and what Jesus did for all of us because he loves us so much. And speaking of loving things so much, I thought that we could play a game to get to know each other a little more. Like, what do you like? What do you love? And would you rather have boogers for teeth or teeth for boogers? You know, the important stuff. We are going to play our always disgusting, always hilarious, always fun game of Would You Rather? Ha <laughs> ha! In just a minute, I am going to ask you a Would You Rather question. You are going to point to the left side of the screen if you would rather do what's on the left side, or point to the right side of the screen if you would rather do what's on the right. Got it? So, if I ask you, would you rather have boogers for teeth, you would point to the left side of the screen, or if I ask you, would you rather have teeth for boogers, you would point to the right side of the screen. You're smart, cookies. Come on, let's play. First question, would you rather swim in a pool of toenail clippings or swim in a pool full of used band-aids? Whew. Point over here to the left if you would rather swim with toenails or point over here if you would like to backstroke in band-aids. Let's go, let's go. What you got? Ah All right, let's move on to a food category because hey, when am I not thinking about food? Would you rather eat the lint from the dryer or drink the water from the washer? Ooh, that's not quite the food that I was thinking about. All right, here we go. Point here for all my lint lovers and point here for my washer water drinker lovers. Whoo, there's not enough peace in the world to get me to drink the water that my gym socks have been soaking in for at least a month. All right, I think I would eat the lint. I mean, at least it's from cleanish clothes, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now. Let's get real with each other. Who has been wearing the same thing for several days in a row? I mean, honestly, I've had these clothes on for three straight weeks. Who has worn PJs all day only to change into new PJs before bed? Raise your hand. Okay, here we go. Well then, would you rather wear the exact same thing every day, but you get to choose, or wear something different every day, but your parents get to choose. <laughs> point here if you would rather wear the same thing every day or point here if you would let your parents pick out your clothes. All right, uh, uh, okay, here we go. <sighs> so we've all had some extra time at home, which means we probably have been doing some extra chores. So would you rather eat? what is collected in a vacuum cleaner or drink what's in the bathtub drain. Huh. My sister's hair, it gets wrapped all around the drain and catches all sorts of things. Uh, I mean, that's more disgusting than my pee clothes that haven't been washed since August. Vacuum eaters, point here. And my bathtub drinkers, feel free to point here. All right, let's do a few more. Would you rather eat whatever you find stuck underneath a park bench or lick the park trash can? Ugh. Do you think the gum under the park bench still has flavor? Huh. Okay, let me see what you would rather do. All right, let's see. Ah, okay, I love it. All right guys, last one. Would you rather not use technology for a month or not eat junk food for a month? Guys, don't hurt my heart here, okay? 
If you say no technology, that means that we couldn't hang out. So please, everyone, please, 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 point over here, okay? No junk food. I can't even believe I'm even saying that. Wow, glad this game isn't real. Yeah, all right, make your choice. Well, speaking of junk food, I think it's time for me to go grab a snack. I guess I'll jump on eating all those peeps right away. Hey guys, I'm Keela, and this month on Upstreet, we're talking about Easter and the days that lead up to it. Like, did you know that one of the last things Jesus did was plan a dinner for his friends? It's true. So, I don't know about you, but when I have friends over, I like to make it a party. Like, what do you guys like to do when you have friends over? Do you have decorations? You know, maybe some music? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's good. But you know what? It all comes down to the big question. What are you going to eat? You know what, and I'm not cooking tonight, so pizza it is. Let me just text in my order. You guys got a favorite pizza place? How many of you guys like Papa John's? You know, they have those little cinnamon things, or some of you guys probably like Domino's, but let's be honest, all of us have probably been eating a lot of frozen pizza at home lately, right? Did someone order a pizza? Oh, Vinny, I didn't know you delivered pizza. Oh, I'm a man of mean talents. <laughs> but Italian accent is not one of them. Oh, but I do love pizza, yes indeed. Oh, uh, <sighs> do you want a piece? Yes, 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 sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mmm, oh, this is so good. Oh, oh yeah. Have a great party. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. Well, okay, so this is how I would set up a dinner, but you know, Jesus actually did the same thing. Okay, there wasn't pizza there, but Jesus invited his best friends to come around a table and have dinner with him. He invited Andrew and John and Peter and James and all the guys who had been with him through it all. He wanted them all to come to dinner because he had something to tell them, something important. But first, he wanted to do something important. And I'm not kidding about this. Jesus wanted to wash their feet. Oh, nasty. Okay, you guys have never seen stinky, nasty feet like these guys had because all day, every day, all they did was walk around in the dirt. Think about it. Back then, there were no cars to carry you, no sidewalks to walk on, no Nike shoes to keep the dirt out. No, these guys wore these really thin sandals and walked around in dirt and dust all day. Nasty feet. Which is why back then, whenever you got to someone's house for dinner, a servant would come and kneel down and wash your feet. But tonight, Jesus didn't want the servant to do it. He wanted to do it. So as his friends arrived, Jesus got down on his knees with a towel and a bowl of water, and he began to wash his friend's feet. And his friends were like, uh, confused. Peter was like, Jesus, why are you washing our feet? But you tell me, by washing their feet, what was Jesus trying to show them? That he loved them, right? That he was gonna take care of them, that they were important to him. But they didn't get it. And then the things he said later, they really didn't get. Jesus said, guys, I will be with you only a little longer. And then he said, where I'm going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. And the disciples were like, what? Jesus is gonna leave us? We thought he was gonna be with us forever. But what they didn't know was that Jesus was about to be arrested and it was gonna be really hard and really scary for a while. And Jesus knew they were gonna be worried and afraid for him. So he said, guys, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. So. Basically, he was telling them, I love you and I've got a plan. And Jesus did have a plan and it was bigger and better than his friends could ever imagine. He was about to do something for all of us that nobody else could do. And that's what Easter is all about. 
But in that moment, at that dinner, Jesus wanted his friends to know they could trust him through everything that was about to happen. Why? Because Jesus loved them. And that's what we've got to remember too, that Jesus loves me and he does. So whenever you feel sad or worried or happy or even confused or whatever it is you're feeling, just say to yourself, it's gonna be okay because Jesus loves me. He knows what's happening. He knows what you're going through and you don't ever have to wonder how Jesus feels about you. He loves you always. Say it with me. Jesus loves me. And if you want to say it in emojis, Jesus loves me. And yes, he does. Let's pray. God, thank you for sending Jesus to show us how much you love us. And thank you for the reminder with how much you love us with how Jesus loved his friends. Thank you that we can trust you with everything always. In Jesus name, amen. So you guys, the fun isn't over. Let's head over to small group with two of the best small group leaders I know, Philip and Alyssa. Hey, I'm Street Kids. I'm so glad you were joining us for small group time. I know I'm not your leader and your friends are all on their own computers watching, but there's no reason we can't have small group, right? Totally. I'm so excited that we get to be together, even if it's over a screen. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Philip. And in the story we just heard, the disciples must have had so many different feelings. Let's talk about all the different feelings we have from time to time. But first, go grab a piece of paper and crayons or markers or whatever you're going to write with, okay? So go ahead. We'll wait here. Go ahead. Go get it. Okay, on your paper, I want you to draw your best happy emoji. Your best happy emoji, whatever you think that is. I'm sure it probably has like a smiley face in it, right, two eyes, a circle head, whatever your best happy emoji is. All right, now that's looking good. Now go ahead and color that thing in. Go ahead and color it in with whatever color you want. All right, now draw your best sad emoji. All right, your best sad emoji. Give them some tears. Give them something that looks sad, your best sad emoji, all right? Now, let me see your worried emoji. Hmm, what would your worried emoji look like? You know, it could be kind of like, right? Or it could kind of be like, mm, right? Whatever your worried emoji might be, all right? Now, I want you to point to the happy emoji and think about something that makes you happy. Okay, I got it. Now I want you to point to the sad emoji and think about something that makes you sad. Okay, I got it. But can we move on? I don't want to be sad. Yeah. Now I want you to point to the worried emoji and think about something that you could be worried about. Like worried that I'm going to run out of fun things to do at my house this week? <laughs> that is right. Now take a look at all your emojis. No matter what you are feeling right now, we can remember that Jesus loves us. Yes, and he loves me, and Jesus loves you. No matter what we're going through, Jesus knows how we feel. He's always with us, and he loves us so much. So whatever you may be feeling today, whether you're happy, sad, or worried, or whatever you're feeling tomorrow or next week, remember, Jesus loves you. Let's take a minute to pray together, all right? Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. And no matter what we're going through and how we're feeling, he knows and he cares and he is with us. We love you, God, amen. Okay, one more thing. There's a verse in the Bible written by a guy who was friends with Jesus that says, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. 
John 15, 13. That's how much Jesus loves us. He gave his life for us. What a great verse. Let's go ahead and learn it together. All right. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life. I got it, I got it, here we go. For one's friends. High five, high five through the camera. Awesome, John 15, 13. Oh, that was so great. Can we do it one more time, please? Yeah, let's do it. All right, one more time, here we go. Okay, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life. Showtime. For one's friends. High five, yep. Nice. John 15, 13. That was awesome. See if you can teach someone in your family this verse today. And remember that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. Have a great week. Bye.